Yo, fast car. Yeah, yeah, man. Yes, see, I'm gonna know. Can I link you? That's me, franchise. Jamaican YouTuber, car enthusiast. Um, for the most part, I run my car all moto. <laughs> recently decided to boost it shout out to my sponsor max speeding rod for providing the turbo kit big up to my other sponsors cleared they bring in everything for my car everything <laughs> well every large item so welcome back to another vlog um, so as I already know or can tell Riri broke before I even got a chance to tune this thing um, that is because um, I'm gonna prevent y'all from doing what I did which most of you car guys already know cheaping out usually is more expensive than actually getting something expensive um, reason I said that is so Basically, the manifold failed. I was already warned by, um, you know, multiple persons in the car room that that manifold was cheap. But I went ahead and got it anyways. It's so, hi peeps too. Yeah, you wanna say hi peeps too? So, you can do all my cookies so. We can chat together every day. Alright, pumpkin. Okay. Yeah, but I went ahead and got it anyways. I was thinking it would have lasted at least until I tuned the car, but it didn't. So, back to square one, back to the drawing board. But, um, yeah, let's get into the vlog, peeps. Mm. Alright, so before I move, this is where the car has been for the past, I don't know, a couple of days. Cause yo, you know when yo as caring man, you know frustration. So my time when I try to reach a goal, and shit just keeps happening. But and the whole land see me as caring man is in me because I don't know already. If no know, I don't know. This is where the car has been for the past couple of days. Let me show you what it look like now before me move. <coughs> When I heard the noise and I stopped, well, I said this. Watcha. See, yo, me just come park the car. As is, me no move not, me no move nothing. So right now, I mean, if you don't try to figure out that way, forget if you move this, remove this right here. So, so I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna put on the camera and get this out. Start up now, so I can hear how it sound like. Uh, then skip the mechanic. Yeah.
Je me suis dit, je me je me Alright peeps, so here's the gist of the situation. Bam, it's money full. I'll take it out. Try to weld it back. I already ordered a new one because I'm gonna keep this. So I'm gonna remove this. Um a tuna said to bore a hole and put a vacuum, well a nipple on the turbo. People in the comments right now drop why. Why I was told to do that, you see me? What does it improve to put in um, put a vacuum nipple on the lower half of the turbo? Basically close to where the clamp is. So you know tell me that. So basically we'll remove the turbo, put the nipple on that, re-weld this until the new one comes and possibly some insta um <coughs> Some shit with the suspension. Big up to my wife, the video, the video I got to so much. I know. Oh. You can see? Yes. You're right, Mommy. You, you have a cherry. Yes. If you do it, I like it. Goodbye, Pete. Question, Mom. <laughs> Hey, no, other people money, no, 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 no. So, you know, I'm my food, no, baby. Go, uh, this stuff is clear. So, a breeze can reach into a cool area, really, you know, so. How about that? Shit. I mean, that going to happen, man. You like mango? 
So now that we remove everything people, so yes yeah, so yeah. go bore and try to put on the nipple on it to vacuum. Yeah, pull off money for Alright, yeah, yeah, then. Alright. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Feel what you said. It's a serious power. Can I see your power? Yeah, no. You can't have a vacuum and pop this ass in here, my youth. I can't believe it. Okay, it's thin, man. It's thin, very thin, yeah. You think it's a vibration? No, really. You just want this. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So I'm gonna say, oh, if you say that, at least we're sitting going to the booth before I mash up. So, how do you think I had? Yeah, peeps. So, see it there. Another modification done. I'm telling you, you know. Anytime. Bad well, that. Big dump in the watch, you're bad guy. Yo, anytime for me, mechanics, yo, you're done with mechanic work, man. We don't need the care modification business. Yo, I'm get that sitting there. You know, look like a tea there, So the work ended for the day guys. Um tomorrow the work continues. Uh I'm gonna collect all of the necessary stuff to finish the work and tune my car. So I'll take you all along for the ride. Stay tuned. Big up on yourself. Yeah peeps, so you don't know I made it to go and collect all the stuff Well not all the stuff, maybe not all the stuff But some of or most of the things that's necessary for me to tune You know, so Yeah, you know what I mean, I'll show you guys where I collect You know, all my stuff Possibly, maybe, I don't know Alright one of the places that I stop at uh, SSMC International aka all my very small and cheap packages yeah man, shit nothing big yes brother make sure you see your money big So on hot. So yeah. Uh. Alright peeps. So no, that a one stop package. Yep. On to the next one. Alright peeps. So another component is here. Can I get this shit for focus? There we go. Water gauge. Um, I prefer these because they're more accurate than the, the stock um, the stock gauge them. You see me? Or the ones that are coming in the car, even though new modern cars now don't come with heat gauge, which I think is completely stupid. But these are more accurate. 
You see, because I'm show you the degrees, or the, you know, the temperature of the water, and you can determine whether or not the car overheat, whether, um, you know, rather than waiting on the the gauge to go up. You see, me most of the time when the actual gauge go up, you know, your gas kit don't blow from. So, you see, me people, my advice: if you have a black car, get this, or get something like this. All right, peeps. So a quick run through of the things I collected. So this, the treading, you can't see it on camera still, but the treading strip off of it. So got a new one. Big up yourself, killer, killer bean. Um, water gauge, fuel pressure regulator. So the one on the car was giving some issues. So boom fresh one and for you let me grab my box opener yep in the heart of the box I see that crucial component so I didn't like the one I got before because I think it showed bars more PSI I don't know if you read bars yeah so you know these are all the things I needed to get the show moving. Water temperature gauge, boost gauge. This thing. That thing. Uh, I also need a AEM wideband sensor, but I got in my garage. I can't bother to feed a fish right now. But I'm going to get the gist. And this, how them gauge are going to know. It's been. In the garage for a while, I can't see the cobweb them pony. But dust it off, drop in the gauge them. They're the badness. As you all know, Max Sweden Rod is a sponsor of this channel. Um, they went ahead and sent me these coilovers you're looking at right now. Um, I love them to be honest. They have been. Um, I've been using them way before. You know, I got sent these from Max Feeding Rods and I've never had any, you know, issues with them. They have been awesome on the car so far. You can customize them just based on a 24 dampening kind of setup. Um, if you guys would like to have these for yourselves, you can use my code FRANCHISE on the website, Max Feeding Rods website, 17% discount. That's the highest you're going to get. And you can use it to buy anything off the website for 70%. So it's not just the coilovers here. So we had removed the suspension and then reinstalled it. We made some adjustments to it. So, you know, I mean, you basically have to tweak them to your liking. That's what we did. And while I was doing that, we decided to go ahead and just refresh the bushings so these that you're looking at right now are poly polyurethane bushings for the front end for persons watching that don't know what these are or what the purpose um these are basically you know an upgrade from your regular stock bushings these last a very long time the last time i changed these bushings was seven years ago but, hey boss what on star now man what everybody wipe off set yeah, <laughs> still in a bag. Ever ready? Tell the people what's going on. What's going on? Take time, arm, take off it. It comes to arm, you know? Mm. I'm making care of my running jacket. Straight up. Bushing them done. Yeah. So while the bushing was being changed, just my luck, I saw that my mechanic had a subframe with a stabilizer bar attached to it. I just decided to ask him, you know, if this would be able to be installed on my car. The answer was yes. So I'm adding a stabilizer bar along with brand new bushings to my car. Yeah. 
for that to happen i also had to get well remove these control arms from the subframe they had the attachment in the middle there that you're seeing that attaches the stabilizer link to the stabilizer bar and last but not least probably not even last my manifold was reinstalled a brand new oil flange for my turbo feed and a new vacuum hose connected to where I asked you guys earlier to tell me what it was for so after a very long day it was time to tighten up all the screws button up everything and leave Don't tell Kevin thanks. Thanks for asking my little asking adorable more. car. <laughs> Your adorable car? What did yes. he do? Is your car? Yes. Really no. So I like I'm so glad. <laughs> He's not scared. Mm -hmm. <laughs> tell Kevin thank you for fixing it. Thank you for fixing it. So finally we have reached the end of this segment people it's been you know uh, it's been our, um, a trying time I would say you know with all of the discrepancies the car had you see me but I don't know again I have a big up my mechanic because of G I tell him Anytime they want it done with mechanic work, they want me done with care life. Just buy and drive and change all things. Mm -hmm. 
what as usual like share subscribe